guys what's going on today I'm gonna to be doing a review and I actually don't do as many reviews on my channel as I would like to so today's a pretty special day I'm gonna be reviewing the Josie Marin coconut watercolor eyeshadows and I saw these at Sephora they're $18 each and they're pretty much just like liquid cream eyeshadows and I got two colors she does have six out she has a beautiful purple a beautiful green several neutral colors I stuck with the neutrals I got to Rio de Rose Gold and then I also got Beach Sand and Rio de Rose Gold is basically a very pretty rose gold champagne color and then the Beach Sand is just a bronzy brown really pretty um, so I'm gonna start off with some things on the packaging that I thought were interesting it says here 50% coconut water 100% hydration like a refreshing sip of coconut water for your eyes this pigment this pigment packed liquid shadow instantly makes eyes look and feel more hydrated. It has two layers, one layer of fresh coconut water and one layer of argan infused pigments that instantly gives eyes a more youthful appearance. And yeah, when you first take it out of the box, the um, the liquids are going to be separate. So the coconut water is up at the top and then the pigments are down at the bottom. And your first reaction is just going to be shake it up. I mean, that's what I did. And when I was at Sephora, the um, brand rep actually said, you know, you don't have to shake them. It's actually more pigmented if you you just um, leave it as is and you just kind of take out the applicator like that and then just go in and apply it to your eyes um, I actually when I swatched it I didn't see any difference of shaking it and then not shaking it I don't know about you guys that's just I didn't see any difference but um, even on the bottle it says shake it up and use sparingly a little goes a long way so when you take them out of the box the applicator is actually going to be separate it comes with like a black um, like screw cap and you just take it off and then put the applicator in and the applicator I really really like it it's a doe foot applicator and then it's really small so it's easy to just get in the inner corner and even on the outer corner it's so easy to use I was really impressed by it and once I apply it on my eyes I just take a really Really small brush this is the uh, Real Techniques detailer brush and I take this little guy and just kind of blend them out together just so that it's not kind of like painted on I like I like to blend a little bit so I use this little guy and you'll see in the tutorial that I have at the end of the video I'll leave actually the time that it starts down below if you just want to see that but yeah it's super easy to use um, the pigments oh my god they're so rich it's so pigmented I was shocked every time I wear this on my eyes I get a compliment and when I tell people it's the watercolor coconut eyeshadow they're like there's no way it is it's amazing I love these pigments I'm definitely gonna pick up more um, they're so pigmented super easy to use and I know people with oily eyelids are gonna be like I can't use that my eyes are super oily it's gonna crease I do have dry skin but when it comes to my eyelids they're not dry they're not oily if I don't use a primer my eyeshadow is gonna crease and they're gonna fade I've worn these um, during nine hour work days and when I come home my eyeshadow still looks on point like I'm ready to go out I'm really impressed with the staying power they last for a really long time and even if you have oily eyelids I still think this will work out for you it just gives a very rich color on your lids it, it is hydrating um, but it's not greasy or oily in any way so I think you'll be fine you can use these liquid eyeshadows by themselves if you want to that's totally fine I definitely have done that a couple times I do like it it's so easy to just swipe it across the lid and then just use a transition color to kind of um, blend out the edges and then you're good to go but I like to use them more as bases um, I like to use rose to gold like all over the lid and then on top I use L'Oreal's infallible eyeshadow and amber rush and oh my god it just makes this eyeshadow more vibrant it's more rich and just metallic frosty I love it guys it's amazing like amber rush by itself is good but just use it on top of this and you will you will die it's so so pretty and then on top of um, beach sand I like to use L'Oreal's bronze taupe gorgeous I did that today in the tutorial you'll see I also wanted to mention some other things that are on the box Josie Marin products are all organic it has organic argan oil no synthetic fragrances they're paraben free um, gluten free recyclable vegan and they're cruelty free so you're paying $18 for just a good 
product, if you guys know what I mean. So overall, I really like these watercolor eyeshadows. They last for a really long time, a crazy long time. They're extremely pigmented. They have that beautiful metallic frosty look. They're all natural, organic, cruelty free. I mean, come on, those are all amazing bonuses. They are a little bit pricey. I mean, they're, they are $18, but personally, I don't think that's bad at all. I know a lot of people might not want to pay that much. But they are so worth it, I promise. They're definitely replacing my Maybelline color tattoos. Ooh. But um, also, what did I want to say? Oh, I did go on a trip recently. I didn't take these just because I thought they would somehow unscrew and then there goes my whole product. So uh, the only con is I don't know if these are very good if you want to travel. I was super scared, but I don't know. They might be okay. I'm just nervous about them. I feel like anybody can use these and they will make anyone's eye color pop. Whether you have brown, green, blue, whatever eye color, these are going to really make them stand out. I think that's all I wanted to say for the review side. If I forgot anything, I will mention them in the tutorial that's coming up right now. I'm starting off by shaking the bottle a little bit. I want to make sure the liquids are well mixed. And then I'm just wiping off some of the excess product and then I'm going in right in the inner portion of my eyelid and applying the product. Um, this is the rose gold color, obviously. And as you can see, it's so easy to apply the color. And now I'm taking that detailer brush by Real Techniques and just blending out a little bit. And then I'm also going to use my finger, which also works really well. And then I'm going to take the darker color, which is Beach Sand, the bronzy brown shade and putting that right on the outer corner and see how easy it is to use. It's so simple. I'm taking the brush again and blending out and then I'm using my finger to blend out uh, more into my crease so you don't see that line anymore. Now I'm picking up that medium brown shade in the Sonia Kashuk Ion Neutral Palette. I'm just going to apply this to my crease and right above it. This is going to help the two pigments blend well together and um, prevent any strict lines. And then now I'm just going to do the same thing to my other eye. I'm applying the rose gold color in the inner portion of my lid and then the beach sand color on the outer portion. Now I'm taking L'Oreal's Amber Rush Single Eyeshadow. This is the eyeshadow I mentioned earlier. I'm placing that right on top of Rio de Rose Gold. And then I'm going to be taking Bronze Taupe by L'Oreal as well. And that's going right on top of Beach Sand. And then I'm going to just blend all the shadows out so there aren't any harsh lines. And the eyeshadow is pretty much done. I figured I would show you quickly the eyeliner and mascara. I use my Physicians Formula Eyeliner in Brown as always. And then I also um, used Maybelline's Illegal Length Mascara to coat my lashes. And the tutorial is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and tutorial. These Josie Marin eyeshadows are amazing and you should all check them out. Thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!